Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally going to clear my skateboard that I am donating to Power and Sound Revival Music Festival. And also we got a coffin motorcycle tank and rear fender we're gonna be clear cutting today. I already have the skateboard right here. Don't make fun of my setup. The shop is absolutely cluttered. I don't have much table space because there's uh, stuff like transmissions and transfer cases and Evo sporty motors and other Evo choppers on tables and tools like that so I had to make shift my own little table right here I got the skateboard off of the box so that way well it's close but it won't like get stuck to the cardboard or whatever but anyway like I said don't 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 hound on me too hard I'm, I'm doing what I can with what I got uh, I've got clear coat got mixing cups got all this about to go down and we're gonna spray this thing with some clear Okay, so that was a bit wild. Uh, my gun, as soon as I started with my little pancake compressor and this small gun, I thought that would be enough. I don't really like high pressure when clearing. You know, I just want to cake it on there, so I figured I'd be all right with this little gun. Turns out I wasn't. It was just leaking. I've got to go through that thing. I thought I'd fixed it one time. It was doing okay. Now it's not, but it's all good. Uh, I had my big gun on standby. I went ahead and put on the big compressor over here so it was running just in case in backup situation so uh i went to the big gun dialed it way back and uh was able to give this thing a first coat and kind of letting that sit right now but we got the tank down here and trust me i i know how this looks this is not ideal for painting i know uh i usually i don't even know where it's at uh, I usually have it on an engine hoist, like I, I got a special little tank thing and I'll put it in the, in the gas hole on the tank and hang it and I can go all the way around it 360. It's all good. But being that this is also full effect Monday through Friday, we actually got a motor we need to get on the engine hoist and I don't want to occupy that <laughs> little, you know, two ounces of metal when it needs to be moving about 500 tons or 500 pounds of a small block Chevrolet. So I got it sitting here on a ladder. I'll take y'all through all the artwork and stuff after it's been cleared, but it's a spooky, spooky little paint job on here. And it's gonna be fun because this is gonna be a relic paint job. So even if there are quote unquote happy accidents, it, it it's all good. So we'll make it, uh, make it all work and I'll get the fender clear coated at some point today too and whatever clears once this is like coated I think that's good enough if there's anything left I'll coat that again and we'll just be bouncing back and forth coating these
All right, guys, there you go. There you have it. There is the skateboard painted and done up. Um, one thing right off the top, definitely follow Power and Sound Revival uh, to get this board. They're doing a raffle as we speak. And then at a pre-party in April, this thing will be uh, raffled off, given away, all that good stuff. So be sure to follow Power and Sound Revival on all social media and uh, get your entry to win this here skateboard. Um, also, I know I really didn't document this tank as much as I should have. Um, I was kind of jumping back into document and painting around the time of the board and had this like 90% done. So I uh, just wanted to touch on this a little bit, this coffin tank. Uh, I really like all the colors in it. Um, the client, he wanted blue. And at first I was a little taken back from that because anytime I see a coffin tank, I immediately just think, well, this thing used to be black, flat black, look tough, chopper guy, you know, like black and orange flames, all the typical tough guy chopper stuff. So when he said blue, it kind of threw me for a loop, but I was like, well, I can make this work. So we agreed to do a really, really dark blue um, and with black panels on top. So from a distance and then the uh, beauty shots you just saw, it kind of has that effect where when the sun hits it, it gets a nice blue reflective highlight in it. And in the shadows is kind of that darker, blacker tone of the blue. Uh, for the rust areas, quote unquote, I did a burgundy, which I'm so really surprised. I, it was more of a test and a trial thing. Um, I just tried it out. And I really liked the way it come out. I think it's like a burgundy for some 07 Silverado Chevy truck or something. I can't remember what was on the uh, what was on the can I had, but um, yeah, it, it come out really cool. Of course, we uh, went with this old school painting on the top. I will. I, the, the name skips my mind right now. I will uh, I put the name to the painter and the time, the year when it was done. It's skipping my mind as we speak. But uh, it is, uh, I think it's like 1915. Uh, I just, something I had in my collection of cool stuff on my phone to keep in mind. And I showed him that. It was like, he was like, uh, heck yeah, let's do that. So that is the centerpiece. Uh, and the side pieces I kind of come up with myself. We got the Reaper uh with the lantern heading towards the castle and then i don't know just some dead guy with a sword in his chest or next to him up to a tree next in a little graveyard so just something to uh keep with the cool coffin dead theme i guess but got the crackles got the faded clear got the everything of a survivor chopper so uh as he gets it together and his this is will be on a show bike i believe it's going to be on a knucklehead so uh as he gets that together and he sends me pictures uh i will let you guys see the finished product on his end because this thing is going to be really really cool and uh the fender came out awesome too uh just he actually wanted the um my guillotine print is what caught his eye i was set up at a show and the guillotine print caught his eye he was like hey man i got this coffin tank could you do that on there and i was like heck yeah let's do it and as i got into it uh the guillotine the straight lines of it and some little other factors on it i was like this is not going to be a good layout so what we did was we put the guillotine on the fender as kind of like a ghost hidden cool thing so it's not going to jump right out at you or nothing but as you are looking at the bike and stuff you're going to notice oh shoot there's another little you know hidden artwork on there so I, I i like stuff like that but uh anyway there you go there you have it there's the skateboard there is a coffin tank there is a fender um i don't know let's see today i'm actually painting um a canvas right now it's a brand new kind of idea i'm putting together so i might throw some time lapse of that in here and you'll go see that but um, if you did watch this video on the whole striping, I just talked, I just let it roll and I just talked. So if you watched that video, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, and if you haven't yet, you can see me stripe this thing from front to back and check that out. But let's uh, get into some, I don't know, some more creative painting here. All right, we are at the art desk. Um, and if y'all thought my shop setup was 
a little rickety then check this out <laughs> shipping tape holding my light up i try to keep it mobile but uh that's the best way i could do it where it's still right here i got this canvas elevated because we're going to be working on this water section ocean part of this painting but uh painting inspired by heavy metal album covers i love stoner doom uh thrasher metal stuff uh so you know anything from the sword to you know stuff like that uh elder and this is kind of popped in my head of a painting and i had to get it on canvas as quick as possible i'm thinking about calling this one like uh, temptation or something and then throwing a bike in front of it right here and like some levitative magical mystical something another who knows but right now it was just an idea and it's kind of developing as i go but to further this painting along we're going to work on the ocean part kind of got this rock here in the center and wanted some really really bright greenish ocean to contrast with all this orange up here got a little bit of blue but uh you know this sky kind of fading into a darker darker sky closer to the centerpiece here and then scary stoner doomy heavy metal blood coming off the mountains i don't know just something cool looking so we're gonna work on this part and uh yeah who knows we'll see how far we get an ocean at the bottom here um kind of went for a greenish blue color actually leaning a little bit more towards green uh i like all those old ship paintings where you can see the uh the sea kind of at night and stuff and they use more of a greenish color plus in this little fantasy thing what if it was more of an acid more acidy green color in this scenario in this painting so i thought the uh the green would be kind of more appropriate plus with all the other colors in the canvas as you back away it kind of does have a bluish uh hue and will kind of balance out but it is mostly green in here so there's that i might do some more but that is all for right now so there you go might add a few more elements here in just a minute but i don't know i might just go to bed i'm not sure guys there you go the video had a little bit of everything finished out with this painting right here like i said we added the ocean there's a lot more coming with this but the uh ocean made me think this is not the first time i've actually painted the uh the sea or an ocean in a painting and i painted it in this one as well but more importantly this one is available as a print right now on my big cartel all that little stuff is uh, going to be linked down below. I got more prints than this, so y'all check that out too. But uh, yeah, like I said, as always, thank y'all for watching, liking, subscribing, all that cool stuff. Uh, going to have another video out here pretty soon and maybe answer more art questions about the van and uh, my personal van, Dirty Dice. So 
I'll have a video out about that, all the paint job, glass stuff, everything that I've done to it. But uh, if you're more interested in more of the running gear side, how it was built, I will leave a link down below to the van and how it was done on the uh, Swim Shop 4x4 YouTube page. So y'all check that out as well. But that is it for this video. I got buddy Ethan back here doing some head work. We're gonna hang out down here in the shop and have a good time. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one.